Hello friends. This is the first part of uh, disconnected tables. We are going to also arrange another part of disconnected tables, which is going to come on the coming weekend. So please stay tuned with us. So in the very first part, we are going to discuss about the how we can use the disconnected tables, what are disconnected tables, and how to plot a graph using a disconnected table. So please stay tuned till the end of this video. In one of the question, I encountered a problem where I have to select a date from the date slicer and according to that, three KPIs should display the value. Three different KPIs should display the daily sales, MTD sales, as well as YTD sales. And also, there is a graph which should show the YTD sales numbers till the date I have selected. For example, you can see on my screen, if I select a date, According to that, the different values are getting selected. But right now you will see in order date only one is coming because there are only two days and on 1st of January I don't have any values. But if I'll go down and I'll select for example 19th of June then you can see the other values are appearing. The bottom chart is calculating values till YTD that means 19th of June. Also, you will get on the card, rolling YTD sales card, you will see the value that is appearing over here, that is the YTD value. If you will hover the mouse and you will say exactly this is the same value. Also, my MTD card is uh, displaying the correct value, but rolling daily sales is blank. This is blank because we don't have any numbers, sales numbers at this date. So what I can do, I'll show you the date where I expect that there should be some number. So for example, I select 1st of November. So you will see I have all the numbers. So let's get started. First of all, I'll show you my tables that I have in this uh, my Power BI file. I have two tables one is the sales data another is the date table in the date table you can see that i created this table using calendar auto function for this power bi file calendar auto was the most suitable function to create the date table but that depends on situation to situation that which function should you use to create the date table whether calendar or calendar auto or you should get it directly from your database Please check out our video for more information. You will find the link in the description as well as somewhere above. Now, if I will show you my data model, you will see there is no relationship between these two tables. That's how these are disconnected tables. This date table that I have created, it has no relationship with the sales data table. And I am calling it my disconnected table. First of all, we have to create uh, three different measures. That is MTD, daily sales and YTD. So let me move into another tab and I'll do that for you. Let's say daily sales. Daily sales would be sum of sales column from the my sales data table. It's gonna create it over there. So I have already created, so let me just show you. This is being created and similarly I created two more measures MTD using total MTD here I'm using my daily sales which I created previously and the second parameter is the order date the third one is the YTD so I have created the YTD sales over here now see what happens when I drag these uh, values over here Now my requirement was that whenever I have my date filter or date slicer for example if I select this one you will see all these are varying that's working perfectly fine I have no issues with that but my another requirement that I also need to plot a graph so when I fetch my graph over here cluster column chart
द रियल प्रॉब्लम कम्स ओवर हेयर वेन एवर आई वॉज ट्राइंग टू सेलेक्ट एनी डेट इट वॉज जस्ट गिविंग मी डेटा फॉर दैट पर्टिकुलर डेट इट वॉज नॉट गिविंग मी द डेटा फॉर ऑल द प्रीवियस डेट्स दिस वॉज नॉट द सोल्यूशन टू वर्क ओवर दिस वन एंड इट्स नॉट गोन वर्क एट ऑल ओवर दर सो हाउ टू डू दैट इन ऑर्डर टू अचीव माई सोल्यूशन लाइक दिस इफ आई सेलेक्ट एनी डेट दैन इट शुड शो मी द डेटा फॉर द ऑल द प्रीवियस डेट्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल दैट इज सम ओवर हेयर so like this kind of solution that was only possible using the disconnected uh, date table so what i did first of all i created a date table like you can see i use the calendar auto function with the help of this function it would automatically detect the date into your data model or the tables that you have i have only sales table so it would take minimum and a maximum date and according to that it would show me all the dates between this and you can see over there i have all the dates from 11 2003 to 2005 we need to make sure that there is no relationship between these two table that's how it's going to work and if by chance automatically it detects a relationship you you need to remove that relationship once we are done with these two steps now the third step is that we have to calculate the rolling ytd or rolling mtd as well as rolling daily sales let's start from the rolling daily sales this should work on a fact that this should only take the day because it's a daily sales it should only take the day which we have selected in our this one and in order to get the selected value we have to create another measure that is the selected value so how we can create it it's quite simple we have to use a selected value filter so let's say selected date and we can use it selected value but this value should be date from the date table because we are using the date as a slicer check mark this one and you will get it so i have already my measure created over there so let me show you so here i have my selected measure which i dragged into this one this is my measure and i have dragged this value in this card and you can see that i have selected 13th of february 20 2004 what's i had this one so now i need to calculate the rolling daily sales for example whenever i'm selecting whichever date for that particular date only sales should appear what i did i created another measure rolling daily sales and in this one i used calculate function calculate my daily sales but filter this out when my order date equals to selected date if there would be any date it would show you the value if there is no date it gonna show you the blank value so you can remove the blank with the zero or you can leave it as a blank or you can replace it with some another value that depends on you for example if i'll say instead of this i want to say if this one is blank And then say no sales as return me this one till okay, here so you can use like this as well now you can see that if i don't have any values or i don't have any sales for a particular date it's going to say no sales now second comes the rolling mtd sales card for this one i also use the similar logic you can see that i am calculating my rolling mtd sales and this is going to filter out by the date which is less than equals to this one but before going into this one i would also like to show how did i achieve to calculate the rolling mtd sales this is going to be very important so please keep in your mind how to do that first of all in case of rolling mtd says this is going to be a bit tricky part creating the calculated measure that looks like the selected date value uh, and figures out if the engine should calculate a value or not so here is the logic if the user select a date in the slicer then calculate the mtd says for any date on or before the date selected and the same month as the date selected so your month number should be same your year number should be same and date should be less than equals to that particular date so that's what i did nothing else so what i did if my date table my disconnected table is if it's not filtered that means it's false or if it's the date is 
less than maximum date is like uh, greater than the selected date so then it should return me the blank value otherwise it should calculate the daily sales and here i am applying again the filter and note over here this is gonna be on the order date column only because we are not gonna put the uh, we are not gonna remove the all the filters from the table only on the order date because our values are calculating based on the order date so we are gonna calculate the sales data for order date less than equals to the selected date the date i have selected and there's another condition and the month should be the same and year should be the same and also the order date less than equals to the maximum date over here in the order date so that's how it's gonna calculate it similarly for ytd i did it and you can see this and also guys i would like to tell you that the measures that i have written it over here i'm gonna post the file link as well in the description where you can go and you can check out this file how did i created it uh, if i'm gonna create each and every measure it's gonna take a lot of time and this video is gonna be a very uh, lengthy one which i really don't want to tell you i just want to give you the clear idea how did i achieve it and how you can do it if i can do it you can do it it's that simple so after calculating all these i just uh, drag my fields into the corresponding columns here you can see that rolling m ytd sales here my uh, rolling ytd sales card and this one so there's one more logic i would like to tell you which is same for the rolling mtd sales card and rolling ytd sales card if in rolling ytd sales card if i'll just bring the um, bring the rolling ytd values you will see that if I just bring this uh, rolling YTD sales, it's going to show me the blank value. So I'm sure you are going to be surprised how this is calculating the blank values over here. In the KPI card, the sales order date column has no context so that the YTD DEX uh, doesn't know what date to use. Over here, you will see that in my measure, you can select that it's using the date and in card, it's not possible to identify the context. So that's why it would always give you the blank value. In order to overcome this value, you have to use this one where I'm saying that the context is clear over here. My order date should be less than equals to the selected date filter. And that's how you can overcome that. And I'm using over here the same rolling YTD sales function. Let me just replace this again, rolling YTD to card. And here we go. I hope now you have a good understanding of what is a disconnected table and how we can utilize it to calculate different measures as well as how we can plot a graph using a disconnected table. If you have any concern or question, please don't forget to let us know in the comment section and also Please stay tuned for the next weekend's part 2 of the Disconnected Table.